You wondering whether Smartsheet can have tabs? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be walking you through exactly what is and what isn't possible in Smartsheet. So I've created a brand new sheet and as you'll see, I've got nothing in it at the moment. So perhaps you're in this interface already and you're looking for somewhere, you know, maybe down the bottom, just like Excel, but maybe you're looking for somewhere to set up tabs. Well, first and foremost, I just want to state that it isn't possible to have tabs in the conventional sense in Smartsheet, but that doesn't mean that you can't set up something similar. So what I'm gonna quickly do now is show you how I would do that. So this is probably the easiest equivalent um, to do that. So what I'm first gonna do is I wanna go back. Um, I would first either set up a new workspace um, so I'm gonna create a new one now. Um, and I will just call it, so all I've done is I've gone to workspaces, click create, and I'm gonna create a workspace. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to create a new workspace where I can save all of my files. Because what you want to do is you want to keep them all in one place. So I'm gonna call this, um, let's just call it project repository. Obviously you can call this whatever you like, um, and it depends on what you're grouping together. Um, but yeah, as I say, create a workspace. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this in here and I'm gonna be asked if I want to share it and that's absolutely fine. Um, so what I wanna do is I want this to have um, the, the tab to another sheet. So I'm gonna set up another sheet, let's call it, um, what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna rename this. So let's just call this just for your, uh, just to make it kind of a bit more clear. Let's call this tab one, if you like. Um, and let's call this tab two. So of course you want, you are going to want to name your, your file something a little bit different, just as you would if you're using Excel or a, a similar spreadsheet platform. So let's say I want to set up a, a, a tab to that second sheet. Well, what I would do is I would create a summary section at the top. So maybe even call it something like, um, maybe even call it tabs. Um, just what you want is something to differentiate it from your data. So if you've got a load of data under here, just kind of bring it, bring your data down a little bit and just set up a summary section at the top. Maybe bold it out and, and kind of set up, you know, something like this, so um, tab. And then we, what we can do is we can put, um, let's call this tab, tab two. Um, of course, you could put in some text here that specifies um, exactly what that tab is or what the information it contains. You can maybe even put in description in here, actually. You could put, so in tab two, or in tab two, or, or you know, the file name, um, or the sheet name, you know, we will store project data. I'm just giving you an example here. I'm just, what I'm trying to do is just show you a workaround, if you like, because it isn't, isn't possible in Smartsheet to have tabs. So we'll do this. And then what you want to do here, let's bold this out, is right click and you want to, um, you want to set up a hyperlink and you want to link to another Smartsheet. So, we're gonna select tab two, press okay, hit save. So if I was to click this, we are now gonna to go to that sheet. Now, if we were to go back, you could do a, select all of this, do control C, go through to uh, tab two, control V, it's gonna copy it, of course. So now we just need to switch this to tab one and we're gonna switch this to tab one as well. Hopefully I haven't done that too quickly. Press okay, press okay. Press one, project metrics, I don't know, something like that. And then if I save this, then we've got links to each each of the tabs and we can go back and forth um, and we still keep all of our data in here and it works in very much the same way. Alternatively, you could go back to the workspace and you've got your two different, well, I call them tabs, but two different sheets that are kind of related here and that's how you can access them too. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button that tells me I should continue making videos like this and do consider subscribing to my channel and perhaps even head over there. I've got plenty of different videos on Smartsheet. I've got over 55 at the, at the time of recording. So there's plenty in there to get you going, especially if you're uh, new to Smartsheet and want to learn more about its functionality and just more about the platform and how to use it and get the most out of it for your organization. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.